Hi, Jenny from Inspired in Life. So my next instalment, if we think back, if I just recap, I talked about how you experience the thoughts in your mind and you get the feeling of those thoughts. You think we can project it out into the world. So we project needing to be protect, um, having to protect ourselves and controlling if the weather was better, if my son didn't do this, if my husband put his shoes away, life would be better. We try to change the outside world so we feel better on the inside world. Then came doubt. Then we get a lot of doubt, the voice says, yeah, but how are you gonna do that? What makes you think you can do that? People are gonna laugh at you, it's not gonna work. We have a lot of doubt going on. And again, it's a, a self-protection defense mechanism. We don't wanna feel a failure or feel bad. But everything is thoughts. Everything. 100% of the time you're experiencing the noise in your head. So the next thing on my line is fear. How often do you feel fearful? And if you are completely honest, it's much of the time that you fear not having enough money, something happening to your loved ones, losing your job, looking stupid, not being good enough, not knowing enough. There's a lot that we don't do because we feel fear. And we believe that the fear is telling us that it's not good to do. We project. So the mind makes a story up, how bad it's going to be, how bad it would feel if we failed or looked stupid. And so we go, oh God, we're not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. That tells me not to do it. So there's a lot of things in our life. And as we get older, quite often our fear makes us contract more and more until we're hardly doing anything. And it's not to try and, and then people want to try and over the top of the noise, have positive thinking. Well, I'm gonna feel the fear and do it anyway. So it's going from victim, I can't do it, to empowerment. Well, I'm gonna work at it and I'm gonna go on a diet and I'm gonna go for a job interviews. But it's a cycle, just the mind kicks back in. And it's learning to, or realizing that you don't have to listen to this. It's not that you, have to stop it so right now my tv is there it's switched off it's quiet it's still it's blank it's a blank canvas if i turned it on programs would arise through it be broadcast through it so i could either watch eastenders or the news or a scary movie or a kids movie i know that those movies programs are not in my tv once it's switched off again they're all gone, there's nothing left. The TV's not affected. When you realize that you are the space, you are the observer, the space through which all these thoughts come. And a lot of them are from your past. Stuff that you got told when you was a child, or oh, she's a big eater, she likes her food, or oh, she's put on weight, or oh, she's not good at art. He's a shy person, he's, a, he's gonna make a lot of money. And we listen to all those labels. And then you believe that you are the programs that are running. It's like me believing that EastEnders, my tell is EastEnders. No, it isn't. So we have a lot of programs that are running that we're not even aware of because you just become used to them. And most people think that coaching is, let's set goals, let's go for the ultimate. My coaching isn't like that. My coaching is all about realizing those patterns that are keeping you stuck making you feel anxious or worried or stuck or scared unloved and unraveling those and enabling you to see a new way to have a new idea a new thought so instead of thinking oh i'm just a scared person i'm an anxious person it's to see that a lot of it is programs in your mind and it's just noise so my TV isn't on, but EastEnders could be on right now. And I think EastEnders is pretty depressing. I don't need for it not to be there, oh my God. I just tune out and tune into what I'm doing. And it's the same, you learn that you don't need to push against fear, it doesn't need to go away. And actually what fear, anxiety, worry, stress are is to let you know you're stuck in noise in your head. And if you think about times when you've just known what to do, and you've just done it, it's times when you're not in the noise. 
It's when you're from your heart, from your soul, from your knowing. So just sit quiet for a while. And the noise may be still running. It's like having the TV on in the background. Just allow, just be open to something new coming. To realise that you are like the TV, the blank space through which the thoughts come. You are not those thoughts. You are not those programmes. And if you need any help or you want to work with me, then message me, call me. And you'll see that life can open up in a whole new way. Namaste.